weekend, the Olympics kicked off Friday in Paris. A group of drag queens danced along a fashion runway. What the f was that Paris Olympic opening ceremony? This is the Last Supper. This is everything holy about Christianity. Say, oh, you cannot even complain. Drag queens appeared to parody Leonardo da Vinci's rendition of the Last Supper during the opening ceremonies in Paris. There is a conversation of like, does inclusivity go too far? Things I thought it was uh, terrible. You are probably wondering what the f is going on in France. This is the fall of man. Like, what the f is going on? This is not intentionally a representation of the Last Supper. What happened to basic decency? Yeah, this is a weird one. I'm about to make a wild statement. Let's go. Uh, it's but, wild statement time, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> so every four years, uh, the best of the best comes together around the world for what we call the Olympics. It's being hosted in Paris, France this year, and people are in uproar, specifically people on like the right, I guess you would say. They're in an uproar because part of the opening ceremony depicted a drag show rendition of The Last Supper. I, I heard about the outrage before I saw the clip, yeah. so I feel like I was more informed by the outrage than I was about the clip. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm watching the clip, I'm like, not that stressed, <laughs> you yeah. know? And to be honest, one of the parts of being human is sexuality. Like, I think it's a fair statement to say, like, but at the same time, would people be tripping if there was like some girl was given that hawk tool on the, on the fucking like that hawk tool and spit on that thing to the Olympic torch is like, there is a conversation of like, does inclusivity go too far? Right. When it comes to sexuality, I'm definitely after being introduced to it via outrage, but now actually seeing the clip, I'm much more in the middle. The first thing to look at is. This is not intentionally a representation of the Last Supper. The scene had not been inspired by the Last Supper and depicted a pagan feast linked to the gods of Olympus. And you could think he lied, but I, I looked at this and I was like, honestly, if I hadn't heard the news that this was a representation of the Last Supper that people were getting upset about, mm -hmm. I might not have immediately thought Last Supper. Now I can see how someone would look at that and if they're looking to get offended would be like this is the last supper and they're mm -hmm. being disrespectful and yeah. this is hateful toward christianity yeah but i'm not coming in with that bias or like seeking to be triggered mm -hmm. so i don't view it that way at all mm -hmm. uh, i just view it as like a bunch of drag queens at a table so you see it as a non-issue i don't see it as a non-issue because i think it should occur to the creative director that this could be interpreted as such mm -hmm. or if not the creative director like other people on the team who are seeing this thing and they mm -hmm. should ask questions. Yeah. If it's intended to look like the Last Supper, then cool, execute that. But you don't want to accidentally offend someone when you're trying to make a different statement. So if we consider the different opinions that are uh, on the table here, you have the, we'll call far right, which is like, this is disrespectful. Mm -hmm. This makes a mockery. On the far left, maybe it's like, this is about inclusivity. Uh, this wasn't mocking anybody. And then you have the people in the middle, like Tom Jones, like, I think I was just, I was just making art. I just thought it was cool. <laughs> like, to be honest with you. It wasn't that deep. Bro. Yeah, it wasn't like, that I deep. I don't even know what the last supper looks like. <laughs> yeah, like, I never read the I'm trying to get supper now. Like. <laughs> yeah. I want to talk to you about why I initially thought that the far right had a point. First of all, media is influential, particularly to like young minds, because first of all, they're watching the most media, right? And they just haven't formed their sense of self. They don't know their identity, whatever, whatever. So if you're a, a parent, you kind of want to have tabs on that. And I can distinctly admit that over the last couple years, I have seen a trend of like, I'll just say it like demonic and seemingly satanic messages being broadcast on like national television. And as somebody who doesn't necessarily identify as religious, I'm not personally like offended, but I can see if like your entire identity is religion and Christianity, you, you'd be looking around like, this is the fall of man. Like what the fuck is going on? Everybody has a point. And I think a lot of times, I, I wish that on both sides, people could see how the other side is making a good point. You just get the sound bite on Twitter or you just see that clip and it like just reinforces the polarization where it's yeah. like, oh my God, how could they do this? Explicit, that's what they were trying to do. They intentionally. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it's yeah. like, I think I'm always going to veer on giving artists creative leeway, but I'm also like, I wasn't even that creative, bro. I don't even think it needs to be like, Oh, if someone has, if someone is homophobic, I think the best pe thing that gay people could do is probably try to be inviting. It's yeah. like, hey, let us show you that we're just people. We're cool. Yeah. Right? Great point. Amazing point. As black people, right? Mm -hmm. It's almost like the word racist is used as a ad hominem attack. Mm -hmm. As if, as soon as you say that person's racist, I as a black man am supposed to be like, well, I hate him too. Mm. And to me, I'm like, somebody who doesn't like black people, I kind of feel bad for you. I'm like, yo. 
you're missing out. You're missing out on the sauce. <laughs> you know, like, 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 let me change your whole yeah, world. <laughs> Come here, baby. Yeah, you know, I'll take you on a magic carpet ride. <laughs> and so it's like, oh well, they don't like me, so that means I shouldn't like them. Yeah. And it's like, that's not what Jesus taught. Yeah. It's like turn, turn the other cheek. But also like, <laughs> <laughs> like just you know. But when I actually see a racist person, which I have having like spent majority of my life in the south i just kind of like laugh yeah i'm like oh you're confused you're an idiot yeah. <laughs> like, like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna hate you back yeah. i'm like you're just a confused you're just scared an idiot. child <laughs> yeah. yeah and why would like exactly like a child right and so like yeah. why would i hate a child for not understanding and yeah. the only reason a child would have certain beliefs is because they have limited experience bringing us back to the paris olympic games performance is actually really interesting because mm -hmm. there was this choice to include children in the performance i can totally see how if your mindset around this is this whole transphobe thing or this whole tra uh, transgender thing is an ag a satanic agenda that's being pushed mm. by by demonic entities yeah. like of course you're not going to want to see kids involved in that yeah. but if your view is hey what we're just trying to show is people of various shapes and sizes getting along mm -hmm. And there's nothing sexual about it. It's just like people being expressed and we don't need to sexualize the human body and every expression. Then I can see it's like, oh, there's a purity in, in like what they're trying to do. I'm going to pressure test that. Let's go. Well, then in that case, if you're just trying to show a wide range of inclusive people, then mm -hmm. you would like show a heterosexual couple yeah. making out. You would show a redneck like driving his tractor trailer, whatever the fuck y'all rednecks do. Getting drunk, getting muddy, baby, and hanging out with family. It seems like when we talk about inclusivity we're only kind of talking about a certain subsect of the population it's probably the same reason that you know pride month is not celebrating heterosexuals and black history month is not celebrating white history mm -hmm. it's because you want to put the lens on the historically underserved group yeah 100 percent. i do feel like it's a great time to be gay mm -hmm. like everything is in support of you right yeah. like people want to hire you more everybody's like yeah go express yourself da 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 like Y'all, at least in California, you're winning. Mm -hmm. Like, things are doing pretty good for you. So, like, I, I think that, yes, like, uplift those who have been disenfranchised and don't create more problems by pushing the, the uh, pendulum in the other direction. Yeah. It's just, like, balance it out, get everybody even, and then, like, let's move on with our lives. We haven't even really talked about the Last Supper piece of it. Mm -hmm. I just don't think this is the Last Supper. Like, <laughs> you, either, you either take what the creative director said mm -hmm. at his word, mm -hmm. that I wasn't trying to do that, mm -hmm. and then you say, okay, well, just be more conscious of what it can yeah, look just like. Just check yourself next time. You know, just check yourself, you know, <laughs> you know check with your lo local uh, uh, parish, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe check with your pastor first, bro. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's like, you, just, you wild. He's like, oh, there's little kids in it? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I, I'm, just, I'm actually just going to take the guy at his word that there's not some secret agenda that mm -hmm. he was trying to push. Mm -hmm. And if, it was, if he was trying to keep a secret agenda, he didn't do it very well. <laughs> right? It's like, I can see why people get offended about it. It's okay to get offended. And in fact, I think the fact that they're getting offended is weirdly a good thing. No one would ever make fun of a Muslim display of religiosity yeah. this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because Muslims get offended. And when they get offended, they fucking have boundaries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not supporting terrorism, <laughs> but it's like, if you know a nigga's going to bomb your fucking hood, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if, you, if you disrespect like, Muhammad... I don't need this joke. Yeah, it's like, that joke's not going to be aired, bro. <laughs> I don't need like, this joke. Whereas Christianity, it's like, there's not a really hard boundary, it feels like, a lot of the Why time. Why do you think it's that so is? so diluted. I don't know. I mean... Is it because, like, Christianity is so widespread it's easier to rile up a minority mm -hmm. to fight because they feel like they've been attacked yeah versus like a out of the spectrum majority where people are just like eh. yeah i just say i just go to church on sundays but i don't really care yeah, you know not, I mean? i'm not that bad at yeah but yeah. like if you think about it it's like a, a muslim person's like if you're praying multiple times a day if this is like deep inside of your identity versus a christian person like you know my my parent my, my mom would identify as christian but it's like it's hey, because you go to church on christmas right like, yeah she's not about to like put up a fight yeah. <laughs> to defend that one day a year versus like somebody who's muslim it's like every single day like i'm doing ramadan for a month and this thing that i like starve myself for for a month you're gonna come out and disrespect mm -hmm. say no no we're not yeah we're not doing that yeah which is something i respect actually no obviously 100%. there's extremes of it where it's like it shouldn't lead to killing yeah but i respect like boundaries have a value and, yeah. Yeah. and structure yeah. and yeah. the reason why religions exist and the reason why religions are popular yeah. is because they give you an opera manual for your life and which give you structure kind of useful yeah which which <laughs> now to bring it 
bring back the scrutiny on the left mm -hmm. i think there's a lot of confusion mm -hmm. in this effort to be accepting and compassionate for yeah. everyone and then the and boundaries it's like, get very fluid th and there's no boundaries yeah there's no fucking boundaries yeah. so then all of a sudden it's like adults can become uh transgender in their gender sure you're an adult do what the fuck you want yeah. but don't tell kids yeah. that maybe they were born in the wrong body exactly because if there's no line then the line just gets crossed every, every single time exactly yeah. Yeah. so that's that's part of the problem it's like here's the divide i feel like the right lacks compassion mm -hmm. the left has too much of it yeah. the right has truth mm -hmm. the left has too little of it yeah so what happens is you have these far left people who it's like this archetype of the devouring mother mm -hmm. probably most republicans would be like yes gay people should have rights and, mm -hmm. and these things should be uncontroversial yeah. at this point yeah. but there's something that feels distinctly unnatural about influencing kids to want to change their body yeah like there's there's a difference between a, a natural a natural aspect of nature that is a minority aspect but still a natural aspect and people using science to take off their genitals or manipulate their hormones and yeah. things like that but if, and i'm not saying there's anything wrong with it i'm saying like humans we exist to try fucking everything <laughs> we should look at what it is which is often not psychologically healthy yeah and just because we can try everything doesn't mean we necessarily should exactly so it's like another word for you know people on the right is conservative mm -hmm. and literally the definition of conservative is like Yo, this can go too far. I want to like conserve mm -hmm. on how, let's let's not let this go too fucking far, yeah. right? And yeah. it's like perfectly exemplified by a border, mm -hmm. right? The super compassionate people are like let everyone in. It's fine, no, no matter. And then the Republicans or conservatives, whatever you want to say, are like, no, yeah. <laughs> like, just put up a fucking wall, right? Yeah. Republicans are daddy, <laughs> Democrats are mommy. Yeah. Newsflash: Liberals and conservatives need each other they need to fuck <laughs> mommy and daddy need each other you need to stay together I think we just solved the entire we did like, we just need more democrats to fuck republicans so as someone in the middle you know what i'm saying like bring me all your girls i'm not particular i'm what saying i'm to independent say. you know but you're about to, to be dependent on this america solved <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen well, thank you for coming to the For the Culture Drag show. We uh, hope to see you at the, uh, what's it called? The award ceremony, the when you get the medal. Yeah, I think today's episode was a gold, a gold medal. And Emmys. Yeah, Emmys, yeah, some shit like that. Uh, but thank you for tuning in. My name is Mari. My name is Kaiser. And until next time.